house. What are you doing? You <laughs> would be so clueless. We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing matters. Stray around like nighttime rumors. We were in too deep. Welcome to a day in the life. So I always wake up and edit. I will edit for like hours in the morning and I don't know if that's the best because I do it in my pajamas and I feel like I don't ever like actually like start my day at a certain time and I feel it would be good to have a morning routine but anyways I always take Tylenol and I'll leave because I'm in a lot of pain from my car accident that happened. I broke my tibia, fibula, ankle, knee, and three ribs and all the leg fractures were open fractures so in this video i was wearing my ankle brace like all the time when i was walking i just got word from my doctor that i can start to wean off of it which is amazing news because i literally hate this thing so much it takes like so much time to get it on definitely worth it for proper healing i cut all the brins and then it was time to make my bed so i just made my bed and i recently moved into a one bedroom in the same building that i was in from a studio moved in like a month ago and then i realized shortly after i wish i would have moved into the one bed so I switched and yeah I've been going outside in the mornings to journal on the balcony which is so nice I made this egg bacon cheese potato bell pepper onion casserole and it was literally so good i showed myself making it in one of my eat in a days for tiktok and instagram let me know if i should do one on here i think that'd be fun then it was time to load my dishwasher i brushed my teeth and did some skincare and then it was time to get dressed because i stayed in my pajamas way too long but i put on this cute workout set from athleta and then a crop top from fashion nova i had a lot of garbage and boxes so i took that down because i was leaving to go run errands like do returns and stuff the guy threw the garbage away in the trash chute and i think this is like the coolest thing ever i've never had this in one of my apartments so anyways i get excited about random things so i went to target whole foods and the ups store to do returns because i was returning stuff from like amazon and then target so my brother drove me around because i can't drive right now because of my leg and yeah that was very sweet of him Hi. Then I got home and shortly after my friends came over, Brie and Brie, yes, both of their names are Brie. They came over, we were just gonna chill, but then they were like, let's clean this island. And I was like, okay, let's do it if you guys are down. So that was very helpful and very sweet of them because I was like so overwhelmed about doing it all because like with my injuries and everything, it's just overwhelming the moving process. So then we just chilled and talked after we cleaned and then they were leaving. So I went down with them and got rid of more boxes because lots of boxes around here lately with the move. Then it was time to order groceries, so I ordered from Instacart. I was also looking up recipes to see what I needed to cook them. Then it was time for more medicine because just walking causes me so much pain. Then it was time to have lunch or my second meal of the day. My meal times are like weird and off, but it's fine. I just like stay up late, so I feel like it's different times than most people. And we ain't got nothing, gotta do something, get it. I had some leftover Chinese food. I was filming for TikTok and Instagram. I do what I eat in a days. Those are some of my most popular videos, but I also do a bunch of lifestyle videos. It's just at Kel's Journey, like my YouTube channel. But then I ate while watching Love is Blind. That's like my favorite show right now. And then I just cleaned up from dinner, so I was just loading up the dishwasher. I just wanted to sit down and have a little chat with you guys because I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to you in a minute. I'm going to do a Q&A soon because I have so many new followers on Instagram. Like I've grown 
30k in just the last couple of weeks which is like insane i'm so thankful for all the growth i kind of put youtube on the back burner for a while i was kind of just focusing on like tiktok and instagram because i was still working full time as like a nanny slash house manager so it was really hard for me to balance being a nanny slash house manager and content creation and everything but now that i'm doing this full time i'm so excited because i have the time you know to dedicate more towards content creation which is my passion and what i love so i'm so thankful i think the last video i posted i was in the hospital let's just confirm that wow yeah so the last youtube video i posted was the hospital spa night so i was in the hospital for like three weeks because i got in a terrible car accident and I broke my tibia, fibula, ankle, knee, all open fractures, and three ribs. Recovery has been tough, but we're like four months out now. I'm starting to feel better. I can walk, which is such a blessing. The doctors honestly didn't know if they would be able to save my leg. So that is just such a blessing to be here and to have both my legs, even with the pain that I do have. I feel like this is so weird. I'm not used to like filming on camera. I'm so used to filming on my phone. Like, for TikTok and Instagram now. If you don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram, follow me there because I'm so sorry if you only follow me on YouTube, you wouldn't know anything that's going on, but it has been a crazy year. I've moved like a million times, but I'm so happy with this bottom in now. I feel like it's such an upgrade and I'm just feeling really happy and grateful. It's January 2nd, so a new year and I'm just so excited for this year and what this year will bring. I have 178,000 followers on Instagram and 100 and 60,000 on TikTok and 162,000 on TikTok. I'm really excited to be posting on here more though because I feel like with my favorite influencers at least I love watching their long form content so I feel like this is going to be huge for like people that like to watch me. TikTok and Instagram videos are only so long. I love you guys so very much. I'm going to get back to editing because I want to get a gym vlog up but I don't know if it's too late. It's already 7 15. I feel like there's not enough time in the day but I'm just gonna have to stay up late tonight but that's okay because it'll be a more entertaining vlog for you guys. And my groceries are gonna be here in a few minutes. I didn't even realize that so I'll show you guys that when they get here. Sometimes they'll bring it up to my apartment but this was a lot and he didn't have a cart so I was like I'll just come down. You can keep your I'm gonna make a bed away. Dad and brother helped me move. Love them for it. They're the best. They can't organize a fridge. Granted, they just throw everything in here, but I gotta organize it because it's driving me crazy. I forgot I had to organize my fridge, but I did that first because it needed to be done desperately before I added new stuff. groceries from instacart so i thought i'd show you guys what i got do a little grocery haul i'm gonna try to do this fast in case you guys don't care but i can definitely do more of these if you want because i order groceries a lot <laughs> i needed toilet paper and laundry detergent soda i got sprite and orange soda I get the mini cans because i love having soda but i feel like the mini cans are like a good compromise i'm making a pizza so i got a caesar salad kit to have on the side some zucchini green beans celery broccoli eggs, ketchup, honey mustard, barbecue sauce, baking soda, cinnamon. I want to try making French toast at home, so that's why we got that. I got some of this pork sausage. I made this bomb ass like breakfast casserole, but I, I didn't have any sausage, so I made it with bacon and it was really good, but I feel like with sausage it would be really good too, so I got some sausage. Got some diced onions because I feel like they're just good to have on hand and also some regular onions because I love onion. <laughs> I got some prosciutto or prosciutto to put on my pizza. Please tell me how to say it. I get made fun of but I always forget. <laughs> Chicken breast, I wanted the thin sliced, but this is fine, it'll do. Pizza dough, oranges, apples, bananas, cheese. I've been in like a cheese era. I used to like not like cheese, but I got burrata, mozzarella, mozzarella shredded for my pizza, and this Borson cheese, which this is the best cheese to ever exist. Have it with like Ritz crackers, it's so good. Baking powder for my French toast, tuna fish, heavy whipping cream, pizza sauce for my pizza, cornstarch, dark brown sugar, and soy sauce, which I already had, but I didn't realize. Now let's put it all away in my newly organized fridge. I'ma just lay back and crack this window. I'm gonna set the pizza dough out to do its thing, but I'm gonna go to the gym, so. I feel so tired right now, it's already 8.30, which I don't even know how that happened, but let's go. I 
I went to the gym and I'm very limited on what I can do right now. I can't do like any leg exercises besides like some cardio like the bike and I was doing the treadmill but my physical therapist said to lay off that right now because it's like too much pounding on my ankle. But yeah, I did upper body like I normally do because I can't do lower body. What are you doing? <laughs> I was literally cracking up that Frankie came in the gym with his wine, but he's like, I'll make you a spiked lemonade when you're done and that can be your motivation. I'm like, okay, cool. I had a really good workout. I don't know if it was for the spiked lemonade or the fact that I had headphones on and I was able to play music because normally I'm filming on my phone and so I can't play music while I'm filming. I had a really good workout, at least for me. And I went to hang out with Frankie and Amanza in the lounge and I met their friend Claudia who's so sweet. Hung out with Roscoe of course as well. Had my spiked lemonade. It was really good so I drank like a little bit of it. Then I went back to my apartment and I was cuddling Brindley and then I took more meds, which normally I only take meds two times a day, but today I was doing a lot, so I took it three times. And I'm really scared about how much medicine I've been taking, but hopefully it's okay because the pain has been so bad that I kind of need to. I got home and it was like after 11, but I had to make dinner, so I made a homemade pizza and I didn't have a rolling pin so we used tin foil but it worked pretty well if you guys make any pizza try this one it's literally the best thing ever I don't have a rolling pin so we're gonna use tin foil and I'm praying this works So you do the dough, the pizza sauce, the mutz, the prosciutto, and then bake that in the oven. And then when you take it out, you're gonna top it with fresh burrata and balsamic glaze. Obviously, it smelled good because Brinley was coming to play. But yeah, look at that burrata. Like, my mouth is watering just watching that. Ooh, the balsamic glaze. This was so good. So I had that. I put the rest away in containers for leftovers and then I cleaned up the kitchen. I keep sneaking out at night. Also fed Brindley Girl because she's a hungry little gal. Loaded up the dishwasher and vacuumed a little because I got flour all over the floor. And I picked out my pajamas before my shower and 
I know things are like a disaster right now, obviously, because I just moved in like a couple days before this. So I'm still like unpacking. For more videos, I know I've said this, but like make sure you check out my TikTok and Instagram because there's literally like so many more updates on there. I have beef with Amazon right now because I was supposed to get a shower curtain today and it wasn't delivered. Here's to another shower where I flood the floors. I'm so tired. For anyone interested, here's my leg at the end of a long day. You can see where the brace was. I set up my galaxy starlight that I love going to bed with. I like can't go to bed without it. I literally will bring it on my vacations too. Then I was just editing a little bit. Set my alarms and put on guided sleep meditation. Close your eyes and feel your mind pause for just a moment. I'm so frustrated because I'm so tired, but I'm just in so much pain, so I cannot fall asleep. But but I'm very thankful for today. It was a good day, and I'm happy I got to bring you guys along. I just obviously wish I wasn't in so much pain right now, but I'm trying to look at the good. Daddy.